a WordPress installation is done through your cPanel backend. So the first step is to visit your cPanel backend by typing cPanel.yourdomain.com on the address bar. And in this example, I will type in cPanel.blockchaineconomics.com on the address bar and press enter. You can proceed to login into your cPanel with your username and password. You can find your cPanel login details on the welcome email you received when you purchased your web hosting services. Once logged in, you will be redirected to your cPanel homepage. Scroll down to the software services area. And under the software services area, select the quick install services option. The quick install option allows you to install powerful content management systems such as WordPress, Joomla, TrueCloud, just to mention a few. In this tutorial, we will use the WordPress option and one-click installation. As you can see on this installation page, you will find that there are other content management systems such as Joomla, Drupal, PrestaShop, and WHMS that you can also install as one-click installations. Select the WordPress option and continue with your installation. Once you've selected the WordPress installation, you will be prompted to complete a one-click installation. Under the WordPress installation option, Select the free WordPress installation and ignore the other premium options. Click on the gray icon written Install WordPress and after clicking that button, you will be prompted to fill out a short form that will connect your WordPress installation with your domain name. This form will also create your WordPress dashboard login details which you will use to log in your WordPress website to update content. So, you will be creating your WordPress username as well as supplying website administrator details such as your administrator email address and so on. Basically, you are creating your login details. In this section, you also fill in your blog or website title. And in this example, I'm filling in blockchain investment finance and economics. Also, you will fill in the administrator's name as well as surname and the administrator email address where you will receive all the updates from WordPress. Also, please note that the title of your website can always be changed on your WordPress dashboard once your installation is completed. Once you have finished filling in the form, click the green install WordPress button to proceed with your installation. If your installation is successful, you will see a message on your screen that will notify you that your installation was successful. This message should read, your install is complete. If you have this message, then you have successfully installed WordPress on your hosting control panel. Once your installation is complete, you will see a variety of themes and plugins in the HostGator marketplace. For now, I recommend that you don't select any of these items as they will be built separately if you select them. Rather, select them at a later stage when you have branded your website or are in the process of branding your website. If you want to log in and view your WordPress dashboard and also to see if your installation was successful, you can click on the icon written view credentials on the top right corner so that you can view your WordPress login details. These will be your username as well as password. Once you have these login details, we can test them by logging into the WordPress backend. To log in into your WordPress backend, type in your domain name forward slash wp admin and press enter. So I'll type in blockchaineconomics.com forward slash wp admin and press enter. You will be redirected to the WordPress login screen and prompted to enter your WordPress login details, which are username and password. Enter your password and username and log in. This is how your website's backend looks like. Finally, you can also view your website's front end by clicking on the top left corner on your site's title and click on the view website option. Once you click on the website option, you will actually see how your site looks like for visitors. This is how a basic WordPress website looks like without customization. Now, after the site is up and running, you can further customize it and align it to your brand by choosing certain color schemes, fonts, as well as typography. This is a lesson for another day. Now you have your WordPress website. 
thank you for watching our video tutorial on how to create a WordPress website. Be sure to catch the next video in our Introduction to WordPress series. If you have any questions about our Introduction to WordPress course, feel free to post them on the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please take a few seconds of your time to like, subscribe and also share the video on your social media platforms. Sharing is caring after all. Thank you.